Hello, I'm Cheryl Hazenberg, a dairy farmer in County Westmeath, Ireland. Hi, I'm Craig McKenzie from New Zealand. So we're from the South Island of New Zealand. Hello, I am Gabriel Carvajal, farmer from Uruguay, South America. Hi, I'm Maria, best known as Pilu Chiraudo. I am agronomist and fifth generation of farmers in Santa Fe province in the middle of the country in Argentina. Hi, I'm Alana Cook and I farm with my husband Jerry Hertz at Ebenwald, Saskatchewan, Canada. We farm in Western Canada. Hello everybody, my name is Sudhanshu Kumar. I'm a farmer from a village called Nayanagar from the district of Samastipur in the state of Bihar, India. Good morning, I'm Jenny Schmidt. I'm a farmer here on the eastern shore of Maryland. To me, sustainability is all about preserving the past, embracing the present, and preparing for the future. Sustainability is all about using our resources as wisely as we can, having the minimal footprint that we possibly can have on the environment, maximizing um, production, maximizing profitability, but also maximizing the opportunity for people to be able to consume food that is grown globally. I am planting about 2,500 hectares of different crops, which includes soybean, corn, sorghum, wheat, barley, oats, canola. And we apply the no-till technology in 100% of our area. And that's what we think sustainability is here in my farm. Doing a no-till practice and rotating between crops and pastures. And sustainable farming for us is a conviction. It is a paradigm of care and continuous improvement. We are under a no-till farming system since the 80s. Sustainability also means, to me, the installation of a micro-irrigation system because this helps me in reducing my input cost, giving better water productivity, and it increases my profit. You have to be economically sustainable as well as, well as environmentally sustainable. Um, none of the kids that are in the next generation of our family farm want to come back if the farm is operating in the red. If you're not economically sustainable, the next generation has no incentive to come home. Why would you want to inherit a business that's losing money? Um, and so not only is it a fine balance for economics and the environment as well, we have to take both things into consideration. Lots and lots of challenges for us, climate change, mitigation, use of synthetic fertilizers, use of water, all of those things come into our equations and we're very focused on being able to produce the best food that we can possibly produce. So we use the best genetics for our seed to ensure it's got resilience against any climate stressors, any insects, any diseases. We use crop protection products like seed treatments to ensure that the seed has the ability to germinate properly and then produce a good crop. We use pesticides to protect against crop diseases to protect against insects and of course weeds and we also use fertilizer just the right amount of fertilizer in the right targeted area to be able to maximize the production of the crop using the right rate at the right time in the right place so one of the precision ag things that we do is um, split application of fertilizer so that we're applying it at the right time that the plant needs it and not all up front and hoping that it just stays in the ground and that doesn't uh, evaporate or volatilize and leave into the atmosphere or drain off of our fields or anything like that. We wanna make sure that the fertilizer that we use, we actually get benefit from. Um, there's no advantage for us to use anything in excess of what the plants actually need uh, because that costs us um, economically. I think about farmers being responsible in their operations. I think about having resilience in the crop to be able to meet the changing climate and to meet the climate stressors that are always coming at us with extreme weather, heat, drought, too much moisture, that kind of thing. I think about us regenerating our soil, ensuring that we have healthy soil and we leave things better for the next generation here on the farm. To keep 
the land healthy, the animals healthy, and the business healthy. This is a corn residue, for example. This is soybean residue of this year. You can see barley from the previous year. So the idea is to add as much residue as possible into the soil, capturing as much carbon as possible also. We want to harvest grain, we want to harvest information, and we also want to harvest CO2 from the atmosphere and fixing in the soil through the organic matter. We are planting trees and hedgerows in the hundreds right now to ensure that the landscape stays looking the way it currently does. And, and these are trees that we will never see actually reach maturity. My kids are exposed to whatever I do on any given day. And so for us to be um, cautious, because obviously my family is my priority, and I want uh, the c consumers to understand that I do put my family first, and therefore I protect them with the practices that I have on the ground here on the farm that are more environmentally sustainable.